What's up, Neil? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at some more Fortnite news. Very unexpected Fortnite news and very off the hook Fortnite news because it's very it's gonna be it's gonna miss the target. The Archers Prime is in the battle pass as of right now, but Bumblebee, Megatron, and a Battle Bus. The Fortnite is very own Transformer, which is a Battle Bus um, guy. Um, they won't be coming until October thirteenth uh, in in stores like public retailers, and then digitally in-game on October 21st. That is when this will be available for public purchase, and um, it is Bumblebee and Megatron from the old cartoons. It is not the movie Megatron and Bumblebee, however, I do believe the movie Bumblebee has a much better design than this one. I am very much debating on getting it because it does have 11 cosmetics, um, so each person has a back bling, their own skin, and uh, a pickaxe here, and this is a battle bus. When I first saw this, I was very confused about what it was. Um, I didn't re remember this Transformer being a thing, but I think it looks quite cool. They did quite well with making their own Transformer, and it looks really badass. But then we have Megatron, who is using the um, Decepticon signet as a back backpack, and he does have his own uh, emote, and he does have his own e energy sort of... Wrecking Ball weapon, energy mace, whatever you want to call it. There is three backpacks, three pickaxes, three skins, two dances, and 1,000 V-Bucks. Um, here is Bumblebees. He has a weird energy sword, and his dance is probably just to, like, pull out the sword. Nothing too special, but I don't like the look of this Bumble. I do and I don't. I like his body, I just don't like his horns. His horns are throwing me off. I don't know why Bumblebee has horns. Um... But everything about the skin looks really cool, uh, and I'm glad we are getting a Bumblebee. Bumblebee was one I wanted from when, like, uh, Optimus Prime was released. So, I'm just a little upset it's not the movie version. But we do have Fortnite Summer Escape coming from July 4th to July 18th, and it'll be going over, like, a span of two or three weeks, where we have a lot of summer challenges, summer events, summer stuff, summer skins, summer themes, and probably summer creative maps as well. The challenges will probably cross over from creative to normal Fortnite, and, um, yeah, it's Fortnite's fourth, fifth summer event. It's Summer Escape, and we do have a new Shark Tooth shotgun here, which is in the game. It does take sniper bullets, and it does use the OG pump sort of design with a longer nozzle, um, and here it is. It's it takes sniper bullets, and they do explode on impact. I do believe that is what this gun does. I'm not a big fan of this weapon. I've seen it being used. Grandad has used it himself, and he says it's not a good weapon, so we have that from Grandad. We do have the new Save the World pack, which has come out recently. Uh, you get 1,500 V-Bucks, Save the World, and challenges in Save the World to earn those V-Bucks. We also have a wrench, a backpack, and she looks like a Save the World version of Jules. Um, I know Fortnite and Save the World is sort of one thing, but, um, it just looks like a Save the World version of Jules. And then we have the 1599 pack with 1,500 V-Bucks and challenges for your daily quest to get these V-Bucks. It comes with a wrap, a, ra a racket, a pickaxe of a tennis racket with some spikes on it, and a Battle Pass reskin, which you can change from full anime to half anime, like those school skins that we had a couple of days ago. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. See you all in the next one. Have a nice day and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe. Not too much news, but some good news nonetheless.